Hey Ashley, okay, so I printed out the picture and normally in the beginning when I first started this, this is how I would do it, was on paper and um, just to get a feel for how you even start this. And then now, um, so I'm a photographer and so I have Photoshop and that's what I design my stuff in. I kind of find that the programs that people use tend to do like really weird extraneous pieces or like divide up circles in half like that really cool diadem all the jewels were divided and I hated that anyway okay so when you're looking at the picture you want to look at like what is a main line that I can dissect so to me this here is a really obvious line this here is a really obvious line so what I could do is I could take because you want to you want to divide it into the sections right your main sections and then you can divide those out into the smaller pieces so for me it makes sense or, sorry this is like super rough this is my um, stool for my child to wash her hands um, from the bathroom okay so here you can see a really distinct line and if I line it up here what we'll do for this section is it will stop at her cheek and then I won't have to do anything fancy this piece will be really easy because it can just be one one little section so for me I'm gonna start and just divide this up so now I have two big sections that I can divide. So I can put all these pieces together and I can put all these pieces together and then that is how I will join, that is the place that I will join those pieces. Now within that, if you wanna divide up things, <clears throat> you'll want to make it so that, um, again, your first sections go all the way through the whole thing. So I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna go across her bust, I'm gonna go all the way down. I probably should have gone a little further over so I didn't chop off her boob, but whatever. Um, and again, same thing for here. So what can I do to make her hand easier to add? Let's see. I figure for this section you could embroider that. I probably wouldn't paper piece um, snowflakes. So this will be another section. And again, <clears throat> you're thinking of, okay, so now that I've divided this line, this section will go first together, and then this section will attach to this section. So I can divide within this and within this, but I can't divide like through here to be one, to be an additional section because it won't, you have to go in, like, you know, with all of your stuff, you wanna go in order. <clears throat> so for here, for her arm, this will just be a, a good one to show you. Okay, so here I'll probably do another line here for her hand. And I'm just gonna extend, because remember, this tiny, tiny details are just gonna get lost. That's why I wouldn't do the snowflakes, because it's just too small. And this is obviously an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So this would be her hand, this will be her arm, and I'll just divide that here so for this section and honestly if I had moved that over I might divide out her boob but I don't I don't know maybe you could if you want to go here and then do another section there so for here this part here it would be one two three four five and then you'd attach that to this piece which would be one two three does that make sense? So then for her hand, I would come out here and then I would, let's see, probably come here so she doesn't have crazy long fingers. And then I would go here. See, I'd probably go all the way. And then I would also Divide this for her thumb. Probably more like that. Okay, so let's say this is this part is her whole thumb. So you would do one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you would attach it to this piece, which would be all one white piece. Is this making sense? So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. This whole thing is one piece. And then you can add that, add this piece to this piece, and you got that whole section there. So then we can go to her dress. And I would probably, again, you want to you wanna cut down on the amount of work you have to do later. So to make the big seam, like the, a big solid piece, is your best bet. So I'm going to go right here. And when I stitch this, this part is all just going to be the train. It's not going to be her dress. That's just train. We're making it easy on ourselves. So, and again, I, pr I pr personally would not do all the fluttering here, but you could do, make it curved. If I can get it to, right, make it curved here so that it does, of course, I need to actually continue that line. So now that kind of will go across, right? So then this piece here also, I would make a line. So here it would be piece one would be her dress. If you wanna do that um, princess cut and do that the same, I would just do this. So this will be one piece. I mean, technically you could make her waist thinner. I think Disney princesses waists are ridiculous, so I probably wouldn't do that. So this would be piece one. Uh, two, three, and then remember you go backwards. So even though I drew this piece first, I'm doing four, five, six. Okay, so that that covers that there. Then as you get into her body, this is going to be a little trickier. So <clears throat> the train is important because it's a different color. So I would continue that line and come here. I would come across here and I would see how you might have to do like a smaller let's see so I would even try and come up here so that you have a different thing for the braid so you could do this here this here this here so this section is small so you have chest is one dread uh, like train gauzy fabric two three four five, six. So this is six pieces in this little area. So that then you don't have to worry about the braid at all. It's not in this section. So it's going to be down here. I'm trying to think what would be the easiest. I think going across here. You can tell sometimes I'm using a ruler, sometimes I'm not. I don't have a lot of room because of this stool. Um, so here we're thinking, okay, so to me, the braid will come all the way down to this main line. So I will go down here, and up here, I will cross there. So this will probably, you know what? I would just make this whole thing braid. That might look a little janky. I don't know. You can kind of mess with it. So this whole thing will be braid. So it would be, let's see. And this is her special part of her dress. And this is... Hmm, let's see. Because you can't have these two pieces and this piece. I guess you could. No, you can. Okay, so this would be one, two, three, four, because this goes all the way across, five. So you can't really do the chest here. And then six is this little piece. So this is another six piece. So then, <clears throat> let's see. Coming down here, I want to follow the line of the arm. And then her bum. So this will probably be two sections here. So this is gonna be her arm, and this is the background, the dress background. So then here, we come across here, background, let's see. So this is gonna be another piece. So this, this section is gonna be a little hairy. So this piece would attach to the hand piece, which I would probably just do here. Hmm, that might even have to be two pieces. So yeah, I do this. This was, a, it was, it's kind of a tedious section. So I would do hand, so one, two, would be this hand. You you know what, actually you could do this. Let's try this way. So this will only be two sections instead of three. So you do one, two, three, and then this piece would be one, two, three, four, and this whole thing would be one piece here. Are you kind of seeing how this is making, oh my gosh, it's already almost 10 minutes. Well, I hope this helps you. <laughs> 
Faces are definitely the hardest things to do. It just gets tedious like this. And as you're going through, you just kind of look at things and go, okay, how can I make this easier? How do I, because a lot of these small things, you're not gonna, you're not gonna have to worry about. Let's see, and again, like I'm taking a line and I'm cutting it across there so that that seam can be her chin, okay? So you can add those things in. Now remember, this piece is going into this here. This whole section is one piece. So you don't you don't want to do some weird you can't have any Y seams. So you don't want to do some weird thing here. Um I'm not going to do the whole face right now cuz that's a little tedious and I've got to get back to helping out my dad, but hopefully this 10 and a half minute video is helpful. Have a nice day.